that's been going on, 45 has only himself to blame for his impeachment. You may have heard that 45 has a problem with Truth, that's like saying that Titanic had a problem with ice. But with Wednesday's impeachment vote, Truth has ripped a great gash into the 45 presidency. It has taken on water fast, the rats are scurrying for higher ground, but the captain will, is, but the captain will, he has to go down with the ship. And yet with water pouring in all around him, 45 remains utterly delusional that anything is wrong. That's because every, everybody, everybody's delusional in the 45 party. Exhibit A was the letter he sent Tuesday to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, even in the even in the annals of this most unhinged of all squatters. Even after three years of bizarre ranting and tweeting, its six pages of pathetic self-victimization stand out and should be considered prime evidence as to why this man shouldn't be anywhere near the Oval Office, which I agree. This has nothing to do with party and nothing to do with ideology, and everything, but it has everything to do with the fact that I believe the squatter is unstable and mentally fit, and, and, um, and mentally unfit to serve, which is true. Speaking of Pelosi, when I read the letter, a line of hers from nearly a year ago came to mind. It's a temper tantrum by the squatter. Pelosi said, I'm a mother of five, grandmother of nine. I know a temper tantrum when I see one. I don't remember what she was referring to then, but it doesn't matter. We're dealing with a 73-year-old man baby. What an embarrassment that, that is. What an embarrassment that is the man who basically is supposed to represent our nation. How delusional is this guy? Even Tuesday, impeachment eve. 45's Roy Cohn-inspired refusal to ever admit a mistake was on full display when CNN's Jim Acosta asked him if he takes any responsibility for anything. The squatter's response was zero. He does not take responsibility for anything he does. Over the course of his adult life, 45 has always been deeply afraid of two things, being humiliated and being laughed at, which is basically what's happening now. In this respect, impeachment is a nightmare because it has brought both upon, up, upon him in buckets. His dishonesty, selfishness, sleazy personal life, and the and, and all the rest has always fueled contempt by anyone with, with the conscience and the ability to think objectively. But this is different. This con this is contempt for the history books. 45's delusion has no bounds. He says he says efforts to impeach him began the day he was elected. Bullshit. Um, does this does his base have such short memories that they can't remember that for the first two years of his squadency, both the House and Senate were controlled by Republican Speaker Paul Ryan ring Paul Ryan ring a bell. Pelosi has only been Speaker since January, and until August, resisted efforts by the likes of New York Congress Congresswoman Alexandria Castro Cortez and other far other far Republic um, Democrats to begin the impeachment inquiry. This all began on August twelfth with the whistleblower complaining about the squatter's phone call with Ukrainian pre Ukrainian President President Zelensky. Back in August, 45 cares a bit about himself. Tuesday's, let Tuesday's letter also destroys another of 45's lies. That he's not concerned about how impeachment will impact his legacy. He's not concerned. It's the only thing he cares about. Perhaps the only thing Americans today know about Andrew Johnson. The only thing is that he was the first president to be impeached. The fact that 45 was about to join him and Bill Clinton in the impeachment, um, in the impeachment squatters club is an embarrassing stain that will be in the first paragraph of his ev eventual it will dog him forever, and like and like Johnson, who was impeached in 1868, I suspect that 100 years from now, when future generations think of 45, it'll be the very first thing that comes to mind, perhaps the only thing. In fact, I know this is what 45 thinks. In 2014, he called into what else for one friend to discuss the idea of, of Obama being impeached, which Obama didn't do anything wrong. Obama, 45 said, would be a mess. He would be thinking about nothing but it would be a horror show for him. It would be an absolute embarrassment. It would go down on his record permanently. 45 is right, it's a mess, a horror show, an absolute embarrassment. It will go down on his record permanently, not Obama's record, of course. It would be 45's, and he has only one person to blame for the humiliation that he has descended upon, that has descended upon him, the one that stares back at him in the mirror each morning, basically himself. Also, I just got back from doing a lot of running around today because I had to go to the store to buy a few things. I'm spending Christmas with a, with a, with a, a few family members. And not just that, um, I also went to... Um, to the recycling center to drop off some things to get some money. I took up I took several bags of cans and that I saved up and the scrap prices for cans are basically have fucking dropped. Basically it was forty five cents a, a pound for cans if you took them in. Then it became thirty five. I just got back from the recycling center. They fucking dropped it really low. Now it's twenty five cents a pound for a, for a bag for a bag of cans. If it's if the bag of cans is one it's fucking twenty five cents. I said that's fucking bullshit now. I said it, 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 it's anything they do to fuck you over.